Connor, that's the wrong hand, Connor. Man, this place is cool and I want it. I want it so bad. I want to live here. I want it. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Well, welcome back, uh, Clarity. Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me. Sweet. What did you learn? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let it self destruct. Oh, come on now. I made a mistake. It said RA9 saved me before it jumped from the roof. I should have anticipated what it would do. Come on now. How is your relationship Yar. with the Lieutenant developing? It's improving. I've come to understand him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. Thanks, King Coda. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Yarr. Anderson and investigate it. Thank you, Pangal. Hi, bro, man. I just saw your Gary V inter interview. Thanks for the content. Hey, thanks, GZ. Nice, the nice guy. Thank you very much. Time to find Lieutenant Anderson. Lieutenant Anderson. Anybody home? Thanks, Flashpoint O. Flashpoint Zero, do androids dream of electric sheep? I don't know. Blade Runner. Ugh. That big puppy. Did you think I was talking about you, big guy? Why burp into the microphone? Uh, Lieutenant Anderson. I don't know. Sumo, I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Uh, 
Uh, drinking and a gun in his hand. That's smart. Lieutenant. Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me. <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Me alone, this may be unpleasant. Fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Oh my god. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. Sumo! Attack! Good job. Attack! <laughs> fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. I'm Rick James! Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole! I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. What are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Are you goddamn mission? That's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. I told you there was going to be have sex. To solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. <laughs> There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Oh yeah. What do you want to wear? He's going to be a hippie for sure. <coughs> Are you all right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is time to pull the plug. Uh, of course, too much TV won't help your eyes go square, but it can have other harm. Uh, poor sleep, eye strain, lack of face-to-face, -face, personal underdevelopment. Two and three people take antidepressants for the lack of social, inter social interactions as a leading cause. Meanwhile, 82% of the time consuming content through your device. CyberLife has induced a home psychologist add-on for your Android 
in a bit to teach you how to communicate again. Jesus Christ. Tainted love. <laughs> Sales of androids and intimate partners are exploding. And this is why sex with a robot is bad, Corey. Sales of intimate partners are exploding. Androids are capable of satisfying customers' sexual and emotional needs. Have been a, have been a phenomenal success. CyberLife's been battling through keeping the store socks. However, the idea seems far-fetched. CyberLife's gamble has paid off. This is great. These androids offer nothing less than a full partner experience for men or women. The advantages are many. Androids take care of the house, cook to a high standard, and fulfill any sexual fantasy without ever saying, Not tonight, honey. I have a headache. While CyberLive initially focused on urban singles to buy this model, this year's record divorce rate seems to show that many men and women today prefer to live with an android rather than a human partner. This won't help the already plummeting birth rate, with rages, which, which raises serious questions about the role androids play in society. Uh-oh. Androids killed his kid. <laughs> be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. I think I found the important thing, though. Never a dull moment. Thanks for doing what you do. Thanks, man. Snarky, Donald. We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. following three separate groups of characters isn't that a bit much nah it's, it tells a very uh intertwined story i sure fucking hated it when lord of the rings told me about frodo and sam and then kept junking back to what's his name ragnarok and lego lord whatever multiple story arcs fucking suck Warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. 
damn boy, get it! Cyber Life warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. This is fucking crazy, dude. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. And Omega LOL. RTH, is that is that what we're talking about, chat? Uh-oh. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. <sighs> John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? I need your help. John! First the drone, now this. Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. All right, no one had to die. We still don't have enough. I'd love to do a playthrough where I kill everyone. That would be really hilarious.
Okay. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. Marcus is Neo. He's on their side. We can't trust Hey, Hoban, thank you very much for the $10 tip. That is the top of the day. Show me what you got. I like what you got. I'm sorry. You can't come with us. I helped you. No, no, no. I want him. It's not fair. I helped you and now you're just gonna leave without me? You're no better than humans! No! You're no better than humans! Shit! He triggered the alarm! Run! Damn it! I thought he said Over the fence, you quick. like god damn it. You were committing a class three event. This approach is being reported to the police. I'm super fucking mad about that. We have blue blood and bile components. There will be enough for everyone. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. Oh shit. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. There you go. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. E. Why is his skin shiny? Connor, the fuck are you doing? I'm looking at robots. Nineteen dollars for sixty minutes, chat. Dan Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah. Wait, 
wasting time. There's some pervert who uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Wow, okay, calm down, twat. Good night, Lieutenant. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. Connor, you're so disgusting. Uh, no sign of cardiac event. Heart attack, not cause of death. Oh, he gets choked out, dude. Oh, he got choked out, dude. Yup. All right, let's figure out what happened. Doggos! Doggos are doing the bork! The doggos are doing the bork! The victim was strangled. That's it. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. We're missing something here. I think you can read the android's memory. I think I can. See what happened. I can try. Driver's license says... My the only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute. Maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Ah, shit. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? Damn it. So there was another android. 
This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. Or person? No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Android number eight is missing. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. They really been in trouble with androids before. No way. No. Once. We lost a model two, three months back. Uh, same model. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Hmm. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. <sighs> Please buy my hooker. Good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed your mind. Let's try this one. This better be one. Into the back of the club, okay. <sighs> it saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are android... It's everywhere. How are you gonna... Tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. Ah, uh, damn it! That's a lot of purchases in there. Yar. God damn it. Thank no. you, heavy lifted. I lost its track again. I've spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Ah. 
God damn it! Stinking robot hooker, get back here! <laughs> no, don't don't rush at all. Thanks, Exod Star Killer. All right, come on. Hid in a room. <laughs> Lieutenant, you spent twenty thousand dollars on space prostitutes. He left the room. Money on this guy. So I'm talking about prostitutes. Licking stuff. Christ, look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Microscopic machines that could make us live forever. V VR MMORPG reaches reaches one billion users. Everybody, we did it! We did it, everybody! We did it! Uh, despite having huge advances in medicine, many diseases continue to elude the best efforts of doctors and surgeons. Uh, but that may be about to change. CyberLife has developed a nano android capable of entering a patient's body, programmed to combat cancer, boost immune system, or reverse genetic disease. Uh, fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're going to be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. Zavala dies in Destiny 13. Spoy lures, dude. China earthquake kills a bunch of people. New superpowers. All right. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. All right. RA9, huh? Come 
Come on, Connor. We're leaving. Yes. I'm coming. Phrasing, Connor. Just phrasing, please. buy it. Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Robot love! Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way. Damn, Hank. He doesn't hate me anymore. Yay! 
doing? I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good.